Hello everyone, welcome to the Elasticsearch series. In this video, we are going to see what is index in Elasticsearch. So let's get started. An index is like a database in a relational database. It stores complex data structure in the form of JSON document. So when I say index, index is some type of data organization mechanism which allowing user to partition data in certain way. It provide optimized collection of documents where each document has a field with key and value pair which stores your data. So index is basically a logical namespace which maps to one or more memory shards. It's just like a class. Class in Java, it's logical, right? Here, index is also a logical namespace. So it can have zero or more replica shards. Now, index organize data logically, but they also organize data physically through the underlying shards. So in, I, in my previous lecture, I have already explained you about shards. If you haven't watched that, I will provide you the link in the description box. You can go ahead and check it out. What shard is? So the physical data, the existence of data is underlying under shards. Now let's compare SQL and Elasticsearch for better understanding. In the table here, I am comparing some of the SQL term and Elasticsearch terms. So what we call in SQL column in Elasticsearch, we call it as a field. And rows in SQL, we are calling rows in Elasticsearch as a document. So if I say row, that means we are calling one document. One row means one document. Table is called an index. Now table is a logical namespace, right? It's just a name where the data is storing, where we are storing the data. So index is a logical namespace where we are going to store the data. But physically the data is stored in a shards. Now in SQL we call, as SQL is a scheme of as it has schema but elastic search is schema free or schema less database in sql we call database in elastic search we call cluster instance here i have given the description you can read it out and in sql what we call cluster here we call cluster federated so basically this is a basic difference between an sql not the difference, but basic similarities between the SQL and Elasticsearch. So if, if you have any doubt in future regarding Elasticsearch term terminology, then please compare that with the SQL. Then you will get a clear picture what we are calling because, because SQL, we are something used to it. Elasticsearch is something, something new to some of the people. So you can compare SQL with Elasticsearch and you will get a clear picture. So hope this index video was clear to you. Index is a logical namespace which has a collection of document, not a document, but a JSON documented. So this is all about index. In the coming lecture, we will be seeing how to create an index. What are the things we need to take care of while creating an index? And there are so many things. In the coming, in the next lecture, I am going to cover mapping. What is mapping in Elasticsearch? We'll come to the practical part after I complete this theoretical concept, basic concept of Elasticsearch. Then after two, th two to three lecture, we will be covering the Practically, we will be understanding how, what is index and how to create mapping, how to create index. So hope you guys understood this. If you like this video, don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.